数年前にですね。A few years ago, Shimazu Corporation visited our Department of Diagnostic Radiology at Tohoku University to explore unmet medical needs. We have successfully collaborated on the diagnostic and treatment of primary aldosteronism, which Tohoku University has been focusing on, with Shimazu's strength in mass spectrometry and imaging technology. Primary aldosteronism is a hormonal disorder that causes hypertension. Everyone secretes a hormone called aldosterone from the adrenal gland. However, in primary aldosteronism, this aldosterone is secreted more than usual and can cause high blood pressure. In addition to the diagnosis of CT, there is adrenal vein sampling, which is performed by directly catheterizing of the blood vessels on both sides of the adrenal glands. This is an essential test for whether primary aldosteronism can be cured by surgery. The AVS intraoperative support system, developed jointly with Shimazu Corporation, is a system that quantifies aldosterone and cortisol levels taken from a catheter, displays them on the screen together with a contrast image of the adrenal vein, and analyzes them to make accurate judgments immediately on AVS. In conventional adrenal vein sampling, the result of the hormone was not known at the test site. Therefore, there was a time lag that patients had to wait several days for the results to come out after the test. On the other hand, by combining mass spectrometry and catheterization, the results can be obtained during the time of catheterization and can be very accurate. It will be extremely valuable for patients to be able to start testing, diagnosis, and treatment with one visit to the doctor. In addition, although the diagnosis is accurate if we use a microcatheter to perform a super selective sampling of the adrenal gland, taking samples from more than 10 blood vessels, in some cases close to 20, there is a risk of misinterpretation. If there is an AVS intraoperative support system that combines image technology and sampling technology, it will be possible to accurately and quickly determine where the blood was drawn from, which will have a major impact on the future development of treatment. We radiologists, especially those who are intervening, want to cure this primary aldosteronism without surgery. If the AVS intraoperative support system allows us to identify the exact site of the lesion we are already catheterizing there, we now can investigate the possibility of reinserting a catheter to burn the tumor. This may lead to less invasive, non-surgical treatment following the diagnosis. From the point of view of a physician, one of the features of mass spectrometry is to measure a large number of hormones simultaneously from a very small sample of blood. In the future, we may be able to find hormones that are more useful for diagnosis, which leads to the development of new therapies and diagnostic methods. In addition, this sampling test may be used in the same way for various endocrine diseases, not only for adrenal glands, so I think it's highly expected that this benefit will be extended to other endocrine diseases. Diagnostic imaging and compositional analysis are two pillars of medical diagnosis. The diagnosis and treatment of primary aldosteronism, which we are focusing on, is based on combining these technologies. I would like to say it was a fusion of clinical and industrial fields, which is one of the benefits of this joint research. I have realized the possibilities to provide new and better diagnostic and treatment methods for patients by collaborating with companies such as Shimazu, which has developed various unique technologies. When we have good communication between companies and doctors, as it happened in this case, we have new ideas and these lead to faster diagnosis, which can lead to less invasive treatments.